Hey, Rick, how do self-driving cars like Tesla even work? They basically replace your distracted, coffee-spilling brain with a computer that doesn't blink. The car's loaded with sensors, cameras, radar, and LiDAR, all feeding data to an AI that tries to understand the world in real time. What is this LiDAR thing? Light detection and ranging. It shoots out lasers to measure the distance to nearby objects and builds a 3D map of the environment. Pair that with cameras for visual context and radar for speed detection, and the car sees better than most humans. How does it know when to stop or turn? The data from all those sensors goes into an onboard AI system, usually a neural network trained on millions of driving situations. It predicts what other drivers, pedestrians, and even cyclists might do next. Then it makes a decision, like turn left or hit the brakes. Is it actually safe? In theory, yeah. The car follows traffic rules without texting, speeding, or falling asleep. But the real world is messy. Construction zones, weather, or weird human behavior can still confuse the system, which is why most cars are still semi-autonomous, not fully driverless. So it's not all automatic yet? Not completely. Most self-driving cars today are level two or three autonomy, which means the car handles some tasks, but you still need a human ready to take over. Full autonomy, where you can nap in the back seat, still being tested, still risky. Why does it need so much AI? Because driving isn't just about following lines on the road, it's about understanding context. Like if that kid on the sidewalk is about to run across, or if that parked car has its reverse lights on. That kind of stuff is easy for humans, but hard for machines. And before you swipe, leave a like and a follow, or I'm gonna send you to another dimension.